<clears throat> hey guys, so it's Bobby again. Um, watch my last video, you know that this is not too far into the future here, so. Um, I, um, so, this over here is actually my beard oil making kit. I, that's pretty much what I call it. So, um, this white box is actually small drippers, so. Uh, here is actually the dripper cape uh, lids here. Uh, keep them in a Ziploc bag like this, guys. This company did that for me already, so. But this uh, keep them sanitary. So keep them in. I don't take them out of that. And this is uh, Vivaplex. Um, and there they are. I've kept the plastic on them, so um, try to keep it all sanitary again. So, um, <clears throat> but these are actually really, really good um, because they are amber, and amber is awesome for oils. So, all right. Um, those are not the only ones I have. I also have inside here uh, the one ounce bottles. These are half ounce, these are one ounce. So, um, and this is a 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter. 10 milliliter. This ain't no gun. <laughs> um, anyway, so um, this is actually a finished product right here. So, um, I keep them all in a black box so that way there's not much light into them. Um, reason being is because light, even in the amber glasses, um, over time can lessen the shelf life of oils. So, <clears throat> so I don't really know what oil I'm going to make today. I am just kind of, you know, uh, teaching how to do it. So, hmm. I'm gonna go, I'm thinking I'm just gonna go for a one ounce bottle. That's what I'm gonna do. And we're gonna go for one ounce bottle and make an oil. So. Oh. Alright. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna open this up. Open the zip bag up. And I'll put, oh dripper in there. Now this dripper comes through the lid. Um, when I'm in that, it'll fall through if you're not careful. So, uh, be sure you don't lose that. <clears throat> um, and something you will need, absolutely will need, and you want to make sure that they are completely sanitary, are these little guys here. Okay? And this is just a basically small little funnel. And you get this one over here. Out of the bag. Alright, so we got sweet almond oil, which is actually really good for uh, conditioning the beard. Also got some vitamins in it. And we got hobo butter oil, which also has a lot of vitamins in it. Really great for the skin, really great for the hair growth. Okay. Um, I usually do a 50 50 blend, but these are the carrier oils I'm going to use today to show you all how to do this. Um, and I'm just going to reach down here and just grab a couple here. Let's see what we got here. We got ginger and nutmeg. Well, do I want to do that? Ginger and nutmeg is actually really good spices. Uh, these are some ingredients you might want to use later on if you want to make um, things like uh, pumpkin spice. So. Eucalyptus, tea tree, yeah, sandalwood, and there's rosemary. All right, so I'm just gonna go for those four right there. Um, gonna be a woodsy smell to it. So, all right. <clears throat> now, if you've never made a beard oil before, um, this, don't use this as a know-all, end-all kind of guide. Um, I know a lot, but it doesn't make me the master of everything, okay? So, I keep it in a bottle like this because it was cheap. And what I mean by cheap is, it's a good one. This is actually 100% uh, uh, pure, and it's aromatherapy. So, um, you can also get these at Walmart, by the way, or Amazon, whatever you want. So, we'll just pour it in here. Amber is kind of hard to look into, but that should be good right there. Amber.
Amber is a dark, dark glass, guys. So, yeah, that's good. Um, you want to make sure when you're doing a one ounce, if you're putting conditioner in, at least half of it needs to be conditioner. Now, before I put the hoe up in, I'm going to put sandalwood, rosemary, tea tree, and eucalyptus in. Okay? Um, you don't have to use these for this, is just a demo. Um, there's other great outdoor smells too, so. You know what? I think I've got cedar wood. Cedar wood I like better than I use sandalwood. Hold on. Yeah, there's, there's cedar wood. Um, <clears throat> I've, I've got beyond enough here. I mean, seriously. Um, there's almost 30 different holes here. <laughs> so I cut out quite a bit. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Very woodsy smell. Very outdoor. So. Now, sometimes these oils, if you haven't noticed, it's not kind of dripping yet. There it goes now. You see it dripping? It's dripping slowly. 9, 10, 11. 12 we're gonna stop there for a second <clears throat> now y'all know I put uh, if you follow me uh, I shouldn't say follow me if you are on the beard rebel group y'all know I like to mix a lot of oil together um, my thinking is and my knowing is is that it does a lot of good to have more because um, <clears throat> You've all seen my before and after pictures of how I make my oil, um, not how, but how my oil responds to my body. So, uh, here comes the tea tree. And this one's pretty fast. There's 18. Yes, 18. There's already 30 drops of this in there. You can look this. Now, I'm not going off of one of my guides. I'm doing this all that I. Twenty-one. I went for twenty, but I actually waited a little too long. All right. Um. So, the reason why I'm doing this by eye is because I'm used to doing it now after doing it so much and having trial and error. Um, I'm used to doing it now. I know what I can do with it. So. Um, and I've got those other recipes written down for me later on if I need to go to those. Um, but I usually only go to them just to make sure I got the count right. So here's rosemary. Rosemary is about as fast as tea tree. Okay, again, 21. <clears throat> now you're wondering why I did 21 and 21 and 18. Well, I like to keep it at an even number. So we got 12, 18, 21, 21. So I get, you know, 42 drops there. And then I got 30 drops. So I got me, you know, 72 drops altogether. I guess that's a lot. And you see, it's still at the halfway mark. And. Oh, no, I'm not changing that. Ooh, that is good. Okay. Oh, that just hit me so good. I love my outdoor juice smells, and this is awesome. So, um, mixed together like that, I mean, seriously, I like it. Uh, oh, man. I'm all like this all. This is a very outdoor juice smell, guys. So, um, again, eucalyptus, rosemary, tea tree, and uh, cedar wood, and it was 72 drops, okay? Now I can sit here through the dropper and I'll go and that would take too long. So I'm just gonna go. Should be good up there. Uh, a little more. I can just go ahead and do the drop drop dropper and top this off. Because I don't want to pour it out too fast and then it uh I was spilling on me. And that's good right there. I know from trial and error that's good right there because I've had some spill on me from being too full. So, 
go back in the bag here, and I'm gonna get the dropper. Now the this, the big dropper is easier to tell from the small dropper one because of the size, but mostly is because of the style of the dropper. The one ounce dropper is a rounded head dropper, so a lot easier to distinguish. Now, that's the sun. And Hope that has a paper towels around it, but I don't. But that's alright, because I'm going to rinse this out anyways. So, let's do that up here. And, now be careful, I'm going to... Oh. You see, I'm watching it, like, going and twisting it on here. I want to make sure that's done thing. It is on. All right. Now, I can say you're leave it like this, but the thing is, you always want to mix it. You don't want to mix it too hard. Some people are like, yeah, mix it. You don't want to do that. That thrashes around, that makes bubbles. You don't need to do that. Just, you know, swing it around. Kind of like you would nonchalantly with a little chain or something like you were a kid. And, you know, they do that. Just kind of do that real slow. Not real slow, but you get what I'm saying. We do this for a few little seconds here. Almost there. Once the clock hits 12 minutes, I'm done. I mean, mixing this, this is so. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. There we go. <clears throat> All right. It is done. Um, very outdoorsy smell, even before mixed. The reason why it smells that good right now is because these are very thin oils. Uh, the cedar wood's actually thicker. Uh, that's why I want to shake it up. But those other three are very thin. Um, that's why they drip so fast, and the woods took a little while, while longer to drip. Um, so they mix very well together, um, and then it thins out that eucalyptus. So do I have to mix it? No, but it's a good practice too because it may not be fully mixed all the way through. Plus, it gets the carrier oils in there and everything. So, but that is a one ounce, yes, 72 drops of <laughs> essential oils. I know people out there are like, what the hell did I just watch? But I'm telling you right now, guys, that I mean, I'm serious. That more is better. Um, I, you all have seen my beard four and a half years on that Facebook page, um, and I'm telling you now, it's it's gonna continue to look that amazing because the way I make my own. So, uh, I guess this box is destroyed anyways. Let's get a new one. Now, I got other ones, but I'm not the you know what I'm saying. Anyways, uh, as you saw, I twisted this lid on a very well tight because these dreppers come with a face here. Any water bottle would. Oh, yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. <coughs> I think I just had a mustache hair going down my throat or something. Yeah. Anyways. Alright, guys. So, I hope you all enjoyed that. I hope you all learned something from that. And. Beard on, my brothers.